I'm using my front camera so that I know that I'm in this shot. <laughs> Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Today is a mommy and Corbin day. We are in Orlando, Lake Buena Vista. Uh, Scott is working and so me and Corbin are hoteling it up until we can go to a park later. And by park, I do mean a Walt Disney World main gate park, one of the four. Undecided, I think we will wind up at Animal Kingdom but might go somewhere else afterwards. Wow, it does feel amazing outside. Um, so me and Corbin are walking over to Target to get some lunch supplies and other supplies that we forgot. It's bright, I should put on my sunglasses. Um, but we are staying at a new hotel that we've never stayed at before in the Flamingo Crossing area that's right outside of the parks. Um, actually owned by Disney, but the land is owned by Disney, not the hotels. But it's a great area to stay. We have only ever stayed at the Hilton properties and we've made the switch from Hilton to Marriott. And I'm really happy that we did because look at this hotel behind me. Oh, it's really cute. It kind of looks like a mini Grand Floridian and I've kind of wanted to stay here and I've looked at it a lot um, and it hasn't happened, but it's happening now. So it's a new experience. Um, and I'm really glad that we're staying in the area that we're staying in because I get stuff to do. Uh, well, it's just me and Corbin for the day so we could go out and uh, play the way that mommy likes to play. Mickey ears and uh, beers. No, I don't drink beer, but that's what people say. Mickey ears and cheers. I like that. Okay, so for some perspective, that's the hotel we're staying at. I am standing right here. Hello. Target is down there at the end. The building that has the red sign at the front of it. So not a far walk at all. Five below is right there. Um, but right over here, there's a Starbucks. Wendy's, I'm hope I wonder if they're open now because that wasn't open the last time we were here. There's a CVS across the parking lot, um, pizza place. They're really trying to develop this area a lot to like probably bring in more business for Disney. But that's a Marriott hotel right there, this white and pink one. This building right here um, is the Hilton Homewood Suites that we stay at. We stayed at frequently. And right behind it, the orange building is a home to suites by Hilton that we've all stayed at frequently. They share a pool, bar, restaurant. Not a bad place to stay. Just we're not big fans of Hilton anymore. If you or someone you know wants to be in the Disney College program, that's where you would stay. And it's not a bad place to stay because you have access to all of this stuff right here, which would make your living arrangements so much easier. I thought he got quiet and I knew he was tired. I just didn't know he'd fall asleep by the time we made it inside of Target. But that means it'll be a peaceful shopping trip for me. Done at Target. That is a, uh, I don't know what they call it. I call it a mini Target. I'd like to see if it was up on the sign. It's like um, a micro store. They have like a few household things but like no furniture they have a clothing department they have a beauty department groceries thing like that but like everything is minimalized like you don't have all of the options that you would have at a normal store but i love it because it's always so clean and neat and you could get in and out of it so fast and i bet working there easy in comparison to another store in fact i talked to a kid one time about it and he was like yeah much prefer it to a big store but it is really nice out and I don't want to go back to the room and Corbin is sleeping. So I mobile ordered a vanilla sweet cream, sweet cream cold brew so I can walk over and get that before going back to the hotel. But it's also so that I can show you more stuff um, from the shopping center. So I saw that there is a Persimmon Hollow Brewing Co. restaurant that's open. Um, but it looks like it might be the only new thing open since the last time we've been here. But they are developing a lot. Um, it is a really cute little, it's not like a huge shopping mall per se. But it's a cool place to have right outside of your hotel rooms. Because let's face it guys, staying at Disney is expensive. Eating at Disney is expensive and sometimes 
you just can't have another basket of fries and chicken nuggets and you need some other food. So having a restaurant um, to go to outside of Disney property, bonus. Having a little grocery store area that you can get some fresh food, bigger bonus. You can get Starbucks inside of the parks. So there's really nothing to say about that. There is a Dunkin' across the street. I think that's open. Seeing Firehouse Subs. I'm not showing anything except me and walking and the beautiful sky. Bless it, would you look at that? You know, I love Florida. I particularly love Florida when it's like, when it stays like today. I have a really hard time when like June, July, August, September come, but the rest of the time I just love it. The skies here are gorgeous. They're always they're always gorgeous. Always. There's a Pyology Pizzeria. It's Walgreens, not CBS. Firehouse Subs. Duncan. A walkway. Um, for the kids across the street. I don't know what this place is, but this was the other fast food place that I saw with the drive through PDQ. Just made better. Their sign makes me want to run in immediately and find out what it is. I'm not going to, probably not this trip, but it's another option. My absolute favorite thing about coming to the Starbucks, especially in the morning, is that you will see so many Disney cast members in their um, uniforms, costumes. I think they're called costumes, not uniforms. Then it makes me happy. <laughs> cause I'm like, look at them. They're out here living their normal lives, just like me. But they're way cooler cause they get to wear Disney costumes. And they get to be cast members. Not me. <laughs> this guy's the best. Oh man, as the owner of a business, I would, I would ask him. I'd, I'd come talk to him. Be like, hey man, you need to come work for me. This guy is awesome.